This video tutorial follows on from the schematic symbol creation tutorial. In this video we will create the PCB footprint for the Atmel 8 pin memory device shown here in the Pulsonics library manager whilst referring to the datasheet on the left hand side of the screen. To create this footprint we can click on the PCB footprints tab. Now if you wish to create this interactively you can do so by clicking the new button. However we're going to use the wizard as it will guide us through all the essential stages of creating a footprint. First of all, we're presented with the technology file section. Here I will use the company standard technology file, which will also be used in my PCB designs. And this predefines my styles, colors, design rules, layers, grids, and units, to name a few. The next stage allows us to define the type of footprint we will be creating. This is an SOIC device, so we can select that option. And depending on how you create your footprints, you may wish to change the positioning of the component name and origin at this point too. Now we can move on to the pad section, where we can define the style of pads to be used. Looking at the datasheet, this is an 8-pin device, so we can enter that. Now if we already had our pad style set up in our technology, we could select that here, which would speed up the process slightly. However, for the purpose of the video, we're going to enter in the sizing of the pads manually, and then we can move on to the silk screen section of the wizard. Now we are within the silk screen page, we can define whether we would like to display a silk screen or not and whether to position it inside or outside of the pads. I also like to show a notch within my silk screen to demonstrate the orientation of my footprint. In the placements page, you're able to define a placement area around your footprint. The placement area allows for component to component spacing rules to be defined, ensuring you do not place items too close together and infringe your manufacturing rules. Now we can move to the final stage of the wizard and save our footprint to the library. We will call this SOIC-8. Moving to the library manager, we can now do a quick search to find our new footprints within the library. And moving to the parts tab, we can now see the relation between the newly created footprint and the symbol. Now to understand how to create parts that link a footprint and schematic symbol together, please watch the part creation tutorial.